Kasargod is the northernmost district of the Indian state of Kerala with a population of about 14 lakhs. The district is well renowned for its coir and handloom industries. It is also popular for its beaches, shrines and Bekal Fort which is one of the largest and best preserved forts in Kerala. It was built in the 16th century by Shiva Panayaka, the notable ruler of Keladi Nayaka kingdom of Karnataka. The town represents the glorious tradition of South India with numerous mosques and temples of Lord Shiva, Ganesha and Vishnu. The Kasargod Weavers Cooperative Society was established in the year of 1938. Let us now take a look at the intricate process of sari weaving art here. This 300 years old craft of hand woven saris represents an atmosphere of divinity and simplicity. These saris are mainly known for its strength and would last for 15 to 20 years. Presently There are 50 workers in total at the society constituting of 25 males and 25 females the majority of who are above the age of 55 years This weaving is traditionally carried out by Shalia community weavers since ancient times and as a family tradition I started weaving when I was just 12 years old. Earlier the whole family used to be involved in the making of sari. To start with the process of making, firstly, the grey cotton yarns are immersed in a solution of well water with soap and drops of coconut oil for 45 minutes in order to clean the yarns and increase the dye absorbability. After this, The yarns are boiled in a solution of caustic soda and soda ash for at least 24 hours. The yarns are then put in the hot dye bath of vat dyes, caustic soda and hydrosulfate for 30 to 45 minutes and rinse properly so that the yarn absorbs the dye uniformly. Thereafter The yarns are spun manually. These yarns are then dried in the shade for 2 days in order to provide oxidation, original color and strength. The yarns are then converted into bobbins manually with the help of hand driven charka. Thereafter comes sectional warping wherein the bobbins are put on the creel in such a way that the yarns from them can be drawn separately without touching each other. Then the warp yarns are released from the wooden frame in the form of a chain and taken for beaming. process of transforming lengthy warp sheet to the weaver's beams is carried out manually without using power by at least 5 men these weaver's beams have a capacity of producing 33 saris unlike other weaving clusters Malabar looms used for weaving Kasargod saris are equipped with lattice dobby and jacquard which is used according to the design of the sari. The design punch cards are then fixed to the looms and the craftsman starts weaving exquisite designs. 
Sizing is carried out wherein starch made up of tapioca powder or maida is applied on warp yarns on the loom with a special brush made of palm leaves. This will enhance abrasion resistance, help to withstand weaving stress and strains, impart strength, reduce yarn breakage and give stiff and shiny finish to the saris. It takes approximately 7 days to make a sari out of which weaving alone takes 2 whole days. The final product is thoroughly checked for high quality assurance and taken up for packing. Firstly, it is folded in a specific manner and then taken for manual pressing and finally packed. Majority of my fellow weavers have been working with the society for about 50 years now. This profession was given to us as a family tradition. But nowadays things have changed. Due to interest in other fields, our children do not wish to pursue a weaver's job. After our retirements, we all still work here for 20 days in a month to pass time and to keep ourselves engaged. We get weekly wages of rupees 1000, pension and benefits of other government schemes. After getting geographical indication in the year 2010, society got revised popularity. But still, we are facing a problem of high demand and less production. For this, we have already installed a new plant with 40 new looms. To overcome the shortage of skilled labor, a specialized training program of 6 months is being given to the women from the scheduled caste, scheduled tribe communities to pursue their career as weavers and encourage women empowerment. They are paid a stipend of rupees 100 per day during the training and soon after will be eligible for society pensions and other scheme benefits. Also, the society will soon launch its online website for e-commerce. Through the years we have tarried, our pride in our hearts we carried, but we don't count the sorrow in the giving birth of a better tomorrow.